ISRO readying a more powerful GSLVM K3 for human space flight. ISRO is in the process of further improving the capability of its GSLVM K3 so that it can use this heaviest rocket for human space flight mission once government approval comes, a top scientist said here. GSLVM K3 is really the vehicle that will be the workhorse in the coming years for primarily launching geosynchronous missions and also very heavy spacecraft in near Earth missions, K. Kastur Ryerngan, former chief of ISRO, told PTI. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, earlier this week successfully launched from the Sriharakota spaceport, the first developmental flight of GSLVM K3 capable of launching four-ton class satellites. ISRO is in the process of further improving the capability of this vehicle. It could go up to a 10-ton kind of capability, said Kastur Ryerngan. It was during his tenure as ISRO chairman the GSLVM K3 was configured and the program secured approval by the Space Commission in the early part of the previous decade. So, this will be a level of vehicle which India will use for most of the requirements of geosynchronous missions. It can take to up to 4 tons and, hopefully with improvements in some of the areas, one can go even beyond 4 tons, he said. With this we want to build our communication satellites. So, it's very tailored for future communication satellites to be launched by India. We will not have to depend on any other foreign launch agency, according to him. Kastur Ryerngan said ISRO is trying to do a man rating sort of thing, or human rating, which is a certification of a spacecraft or launch vehicle as worthy of transporting humans. So as and when there is a need and the country takes a decision on going for human space flight, it would have an autonomous ability to access the space through this vehicle in those missions, he said. Certainly, it's a very elegantly configured system, GSLVM K3. I am sure this will certainly serve us for a long time to come in the context of a variety of missions and also make us much more self-reliant in respect to accessing space, he said. On opportunities for ISRO to tap into the market of launching four-ton class satellites from foreign customers, Kastur Ryerngan said, I am sure India will be one of the important contenders for taking some share of the market. India can provide a competitive market for that kind of launches with GSLV MK3. But he was quick to add that New Delhi would have competitors from launch vehicle providers in France, some other parts of Europe, the United States, China, and Russia. There are contenders, many of them are established over the years. At this stage, we have to explore the market and slowly get into it, Kastur Ryerngan said. He, However, added that foreign customers find working with Indians for launch services a very good experience given their culture and attitude, which are appreciated by many countries. Thank you for watching please like and subscribe.